ever feel really comfortable out here. Welcome to Soul Rafter. This week we're going out to the Russell Fork River. If you haven't heard of the Russell Fork before, it's not one of the hardest rivers you're going to see out there or even see in this series, but it probably is the most dangerous. Several commercial and private deaths there have given this river a reputation, but it is also one of the most fun rivers around. So after talking to our friends and a lot of contemplation and soul searching, we decided we were going to run the Russell Fork. Basically, we had five major rapids to get through, and we were gripped. John Weber, we've um, been boating down at the Russell Fork for quite a while. It was like 92, I think was the first year. Kayak for a few years, raft got it commercially for a few years. Kind of quit commercial guiding it because people don't understand the severity of the game when they get into it here. First to fifth, that motherfucker will kill you. That motherfucker will kill you. This is the first class five called Tower, and at first it looks like an easy, unassuming rapid, right? But when you look at it a little closer, you see that big rock on the left side there? Yeah, that's undercut, and yep, all the water, it's going right under there. So let's watch as our friend John shows us how to run the rapid. We thought we was going to die. Yeah, a little right hand angle, but not much. Two class fives down, three left to go. Uh, next up is Maze. Also not an exceedingly hard rapid if you know where to go. Uh, there are a lot of rocks in it though, and if you mess up and end up swimming, uh, the next rapid downstream is basically a river-wide uh, recirculating hole. So that's fun. Next up, triple drop. First hole is terminal, second hole is forgiving, third hole is about a six foot waterfall.
ton of fun because it's a really big challenge. Um, even though you're comfortable rafting and uh, in the sport, this still pushes you to the edge. So the rapids have major consequences, and um, I don't think you could ever feel really comfortable out here. So we made it down the big five, but we still had one rapid left to go, and that's called Climax. That we were done. All in all, our crew had six swims, two flips, two people hike out, a dislocated shoulder, and a hell of a lot of adrenaline. Uh, but in the end, it was a good day. Our luck was good. We made it down the stretch, and we had some fun. All in all, a great day. Thanks for watching.